Hey everybody, this is Tekka, and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over the Dimension Door plugin for Bucket. Now what this plugin is, is a multi-world management plugin that allows you to manage multiple worlds, change their settings, do creative worlds and survival worlds, have configuration options with that, and other things like full permissions and some pretty simple commands which I'll be going over in just a little bit. So getting right into it, you're going to want to download the plugin right here and move it to your desktop, open up your server, go to your plugins and move the dimension door plugin in there then you're going to want to go back and run your server when you do this it'll pop up a little error the first time saying there's no database but that's the only time that'll happen because I'll create a database so we're going to stop the server and go to in the go into the configuration so I'm going to go to plugins dimension door and config and here there's going to be some very simple options. You have debugging, which I recommend you leave to false. We have the creative world transfer settings. So that basically means when you transfer from creative to world, it will clear action bar. So any spawned items in your action bar inventory will be cleared. And then clear item in the hand. So if you have something in your hand, it will clear that as well. Then we have creative world settings. Prevent container blocks. You can set that to true or false. Prevent item drops. You can set that to true or false. And when you fully customize that, you can simply save it and you'll be good to go. Well, now we're going to get into the actual hard part, which is the command. So here we go. Alright, now I'm going to be going over some of the commands. Just a quick warning, I may skip some of the commands if I'm unable to do them, but I'll have a link in the description to a full documentation of all the commands, so you'll have access to that. So the first command we're going to be going over is dd curate, and then the name you want your world to be, so I'll just call this awesome. Awesome. And you have a few options with the engine. The engine is the type of world. You could have either normal, you can have nether, or you can have the underscore end, which that's self-explanatory. That's the type of world it's going to generate. For now, I'm just going to keep it at normal. And then you have an option for seed, but you can leave this out if you'd like to. To change your seed, it's just S, semicolon, and then the seed you want. So I'll just do awesome sauce. And now it's going to create the new world, and in the command, in the console, it's going to generate the world. And it has been created. So I'm going to go over the teleportation command later, but first let's go over some of these settings commands. But before I go over some of the settings commands, I want to show you how to delete worlds. All it is is dd remove and then the world name. So I could remove the world if I wanted to and that would just simply delete it, but I want to use this world for this tutorial so I won't do that right now. So the next command is loading and unloading. So to unload a world you just do forward slash dd unload and then your world name so I would type awesome and now it says the world has been unloaded that will make it so people can't teleport to it and right now the world is just sitting there doing nothing so then we can reload it and that's as simple as dd load and then the world name so it would be awesome and then I reloaded the world and if you want to list all your worlds it's just forward slash dd list and that will list your world. So as you can see, I have world, world, nether, world, the end, and awesome. Now I'm going to show you how to change some of the settings. So I can go like this. I can go dd, um, modify, modify, awesome. And for example, pvp, let's set that to false. And that will change false to the world awesome, so if you go in that world, now it is false. And instead of PvP, you can do things like spawn monsters, or spawn animals, it works the exact same way, set it as true or false. Now if you want to change the game mode, or the difficulty, it's as simple as doing DD, this is the ones for the game mode, modify, awesome and then change the game mode to creative. Oops, change it to creative. But actually here are some of the um, modify options. You have PvP, spawn monsters, spawn animals, isolated chat, game mode, difficulty, and spawn in memory. Now isolated chat is a option making it so if you're in a world and you talk in the world, only people in that world can hear you. 
Now all of these options work the same way, just DD modify the world name, the option, and true or false, so that's how that works. Now I got two more commands for you. The first one is going to be teleporting to a world, so I'm going to go DD teleport, and then I'm going to teleport to the awesome world. And that will take me to awesome. So here is the new awesome world. It's conveniently placed on a island in the middle of nowhere. So actually the awesome seed is an island in the middle of nowhere. Which I think it's pretty cool. Okay. So the last command I'm going to be going over right now is the set spawn command. So if I wanted right here to be a spawn, all I would do is dd spawn. And that will set the new spawn location for the world awesome. Now there is some more commands such as custom chunk generators and things like that. If you want more any more information on anything about this plugin, such as commands and permissions, you can view the bucket dev thread or the th form thread and get all the information you're going to be needing. So I hope you have a wonderful day, and goodbye.